and warm friendship. Here. Behoi, huh? are you sure we have enough food? Well, of course. I accounted for snacks as well. Hmm. But I'm getting pretty sick of all this dry and cold food. It's the same every day. <laughs> yeah. I'd love to eat some hot food. Just hold on a little longer. We'll get to my village in no time. And there'll be plenty of hot food for us to eat there. Huh? What's wrong? My Mai is missing. Huh? I think my Mai must have fallen behind for a reason. Huh? Oh. Ah! Oh, I remember now. My Mai has bad memories of this area. When my Mai was little, he lost his parents. And he wandered around in this area. Little Mai Mai, he was terrified of the bad guys here. Later on, Mom rescued him, and we've been together ever since. Oh, I can't believe I forgot Mai Mai doesn't like this place. So Mai Mai went to hide because he remembered those bad memories? Yeah. <laughs> Let's split up and go look for Mai Mai. Remember, whether you find him or not, we all have to return to the stone before dark. Okay! Hmm? Bayan, are you gonna huh? go alone? Aren't you afraid of bears? Uh, <laughs> uh, uh fi finding Mai Mai is the most important thing, so let's get going! Bayan, you're, you're shaking! shaking. Mai Mai! Mai Mai, please come out! <sighs> or don't come out of hiding. Don't come out! No, no, no! Mai Mai! Come out! Mai Mai! Mai Mai! Mai Mai, where are you? Come out! <laughs> huh? Hang on, did you hear something? No, nothing. Oh! Over there! <laughs> huh? <gasps> Mai Mai hid in the ground? <laughs> no, he did it. <laughs> but I found some food! Look, there's black nightshade greens and a sweet mm -hmm. uh, potato. Hmm. Huh? <sighs> Mai Mai! You're picking up rocks? Everyone's so worried about you. Let's go back right away. Ma. <sighs> I guess I'll walk faster. Huh? Ah! Mama, don't be afraid. I have a bow and arrow. Huh? Huh? Why? Mai Mai, thank you for saving me. Mai. Mm. Mai Mai! Oh, how could you run away without saying anything to us? You have no idea how hard we looked for you. <laughs> all right, all right. It's getting late. Let's leave this place and find somewhere to eat. Mai. Mai Mai? What did you collect all those rocks for? Oh, you want to make stone soup? 
Huh? Oh, no way! I gathered a bunch of nightshade and sweet potato! We don't need to eat stones! Huh? <laughs> hmm? Oh, that's great! Nine Eyes prepared the pot already! Huh? First, cook the stones until they're hot! Huh? Money must be really hungry. She's cooking stones. Second, you need to use the betel leaf sheath to make a pot and a spoon for this. Put a rattan pot holder under the pot so that the pot doesn't fall over. And third, add fragrant wild boar leaves. Then add water. And you put the stones in the pot. Huh? Huh? Ah, wild, wild boar, boar grow leaves? leaves? Of course not. It's a plant Paiwan people use called vungu. Huh? When you strip the bark off the vungu trunk, it looks like the markings on wild boar meat. Hmm. So we just call it wild huh. boar. <laughs> the steaming hot and delicious stone soup is finished. Mm. Mm. It's, it's so delicious. delicious. Mmm. <sighs> I never knew that cold stones could be used to cook soup. <gasps> These stones here are amazing. <laughs> Actually, as long as you pick the right stones, you can cook soup anywhere. Really? Well, it all starts with the transfer of heat. Heat is transferred when a high temperature is transferred to a low temperature. There are three ways heat can be transferred, including heat conduction, heat convection, and heat radiation. When heat is transferred by contact with a solid or stationary liquid, it's called heat conduction. When heat becomes transferred by a moving liquid, it's then called heat convection. Heat radiation doesn't have to be transferred through an object. When the sun shines on us, it's a type of heat radiation. I get it! Cooking stone soup is the transfer of heat through a solid and stationary water. So it's a heat conduction. Hmm. In addition to that, we can stir the water in the pot and use heat convection to heat it up even faster. Well, my mind kept adding new stones into the pot. So tell me why do you need so many stones to cook it? That is because the stones and the water in the pot both have different heat capacities. Heat capacity is the amount of energy needed to increase the temperature of an object by one degree. When the amount of an object increases, the heat capacity increases. So you need more energy to increase the temperature. The heat capacity of a pot of water is greater than a stone. So before the water boils, the heat energy in the stone is used up. So we have to continuously add more red hot stones to replace the cooled stones in order to maintain and increase the temperature of the water. And that's how we can enjoy a steaming hot stone soup. Grown-ups taught me huh? and Mai Mai to pick this kind of stone for cooking soup. But we really don't know why it's the best kind of stone for cooking. This kind of stone is called a Mai Fan stone. When you roast it, it doesn't crack like the other stones which contaminate your food. So it is the best kind of stone for cooking soup. So that's why. Oh yeah, Mai Mai. Didn't you go and hide because you didn't like this area? How come you decided to collect my fun stones then? Mama. Huh? Yeah. I love to eat some hot food. Ah, oh, so that's why you left the group. Mai Mai, thanks for helping me get to eat delicious stone soup! <laughs> yeah, if it wasn't for Mai Mai, I would have been attacked by that wild boar. Mai Mai might be a bear, but more important, he is my friend.
It's a